What's up guys, this is Jonathan over at Mack Hike Hyundai in Victoria, Texas, and today I'm gonna to go over the 2024 Hyundai Tucson with you. Now the 2024 Hyundai Tucson is gonna come in a few different trim levels. For your standard gasoline engine, which is gonna come with a 2.5 liter motor, you're gonna have SE, SEL, XRT, and Limited. Now when you move to the hybrids, you will have Blue, SEL, Inline, and Limited. Then when you get to the plug-in hybrids, you're gonna have SEL and Limited available. Now, one of the differences between the plug-in hybrid and the standard hybrid is the fact that your standard hybrid, the electric power is really there for in instances where you're idling, coasting at certain speeds and things like that. Now your plug-in ones, they do have the ability to pull directly on the EV power in order to charge the vehicle, and then you plug it in to charge it. They are a perfect vehicle to use as an introduction if you are interested in getting into the EV world and want something to start that you're familiar with, but also you can learn. Now here at the front of the vehicle at the top, the first thing you're gonna notice is the available roof rack on this particular one. They do not all come with it, but it is available if you want to do that and you're a little more adventurous. As you move down, you will see the housing for your lane keeping, lane centering, and speed sign recognition. The way those function, your lane keeping is gonna read the lines on the road. If you get close to the lines, it's gonna alert you and then gently steer you back in if you don't react. Whereas your lane centering is gonna actively operate the whole time to keep you centered in the lane and the steering may feel a little tight while it's doing that. Now your speed sign recognition, as you pass speed signs, stop signs, other things like that on the road, that will actually read them and then pop it up on your instrument cluster for you to see. As you move down the vehicle, you're gonna notice the cascading lights which transition you into your front parking sensors as well as the bottom of the bumper right here where the radar for your adaptive cruise control and pre-collision systems is housed at. Hyundai has put a lot of work into adding all these safety systems to the vehicle to increase your safety for you and your family, as well as your fellow drivers on the road, whether they're in a Hyundai or in another model. All right guys, so here we are at the side of the vehicle. Starting here, you do have your 19 inch alloy wheels along with this option. You do have four other options based on trim level. As we move down the vehicle, you're gonna have your side mirror. Now this is gonna be the housing for your cameras if you have the 360 camera package, your blind spot monitor, and then you do have a blinker notification there. As we move down the vehicle, you'll see the body lines that give the vehicle its shape all the way to the back where you do have your locking gas door. Now this particular one, as I said earlier, does have the roof rack as well as the roof rails. And then just over here, you do have your panoramic sunroof. Now, one of the cool things about the way they have designed the 2024 Hyundai Tucson is the hatchback styling and the way the roof is set up still gives you plenty of headroom back here without compromising any of your storage space back here. So adults and children alike will have plenty of space to sit in when they're in the back of the vehicle. Okay guys, here we are at the rear of the vehicle. If you take a look at the tail light, they have a nice futuristic modern design. Lights up here as well as all the way across coincides with your windshield, which does have a, the Hyundai emblem in a way built into the glass. Up here, you're gonna have your rear windshield wiper stored. As you move down, the button to open your lift gate is right here. All your parking sensors run along the bottom and then the 24 Tucson does have an available tow hitch. Now let's open up the vehicle so we can get into the cargo area. First thing you're gonna notice, your cargo net, which is one of your accessories you do have available. And then here, we're gonna have your roadside assistant kit, kit, which is gonna be packed with a bunch of goodies for you. You do have your dual-sided cargo mat, carpet, as well as a rubberized side if you have plants or anything like that back here that might make a mess, followed by your spare, which is stored underneath here. Now that we've gone over the exterior of the vehicle, follow me inside and I'll show you all the amazing things the Tucson has to offer. All right, guys, welcome inside the 2024 Hyundai Tucson. I'm gonna go through a few different things with you. The first thing you'll notice when you get in it is the visibility you have with the windshield. It's a nice, large, open windshield, and there's not much blocking your view over here to the side. As you go move through the vehicle, you'll have your screen here. You're gonna have all your information for you at the second you get in, time, whatever radio station you're on. You can slide through it to access your map, your Bluetooth, radio, media, everything like that. As you move down the screen, you'll have all your buttons that are all touched. They're not physical buttons. Some of these will take you straight to the map. Some will take you straight to your navigation where you can search different places you want to go. Your radio, you can have another button for your media if you want to switch between XM, FM, or your Bluetooth audio. You can hit your setup button, which will take you to all your settings. As you move down, this particular one does have dual climate control, so each side can operate their temperature independently whatever they want it to be on. Then you have your fan speed, your air diffuser to help filter the air when it comes in. Then as you move down here, you have all your charger outlets as well as a wireless charger. 
These buttons here are gonna be your heated and cooled seats, as well as your heated steering wheel, downhill assist, your camera button where you can toggle your cameras on from inside the vehicle if you wanna see what's around you. Then you will have your gear shift, which is gonna all be buttons, park, reverse, neutral, and drive, obviously. Then you have your drive mode switch, which will change the instrument cluster based on whatever drive mode you're in between smart, sport, and normal. Electronic parking brake, and then your auto hold button where the brake will stay applied every time you come to a complete stop until you tap the gas again. So one of the first things you're gonna do when you purchase a Hyundai is you're gonna Bluetooth your phone before you even leave the lot. First, you'll go to your settings on your phone, make sure your Bluetooth is on. After you verify that, then you'll slide over, go to your setup, click device connections, look through all the menu options, tap device connections again, then click add new. Follow the prompts, wait for the vehicle to pop up on your phone, click it, verify your pin matches, hit pair, give the vehicle a second, and now you are Bluetooth. You can allow your contacts to sync, if you want to, you don't have to, it's not a requirement, it just makes it a lot more in tune with your phone. One of the reasons you'll want to pair your phone to the vehicle is just for that connectivity. It's a lot easier to make calls, send text messages and everything like that. That way you're not looking down at your phone, risking an accident or anything like that. And it takes away that desire to get on your phone while you're driving. The 2400 Tucson does offer Apple CarPlay as well. Once you connect that, anything you do on your phone, whether it's maps through Siri, um, Spotify will work with it. Any of your music apps that are compatible with it will pop all up on the screen for you and you can access them that way. Just as well, you do have the Android Auto, which has its functionality just like the Apple CarPlay does as well. Now let's look at the camera systems available in the Hyundai Tucson. First off, if you're just sitting still like this and you want to access your camera systems, just hit this button here. It has a P with a little camera icon around it. Push that, it'll pop up on there. You do have one for if you do have the hitch equipped to it so you can back up to your trailer and line everything up like that. You have a zoomed in version of it as well as a 360 view. You do have your standard backup camera view and then you do have the cameras that work with your blind spot view monitor that will show you down the side of your car if you're near curbs or anything like that. So the next thing we're gonna go through is the different drive modes you have available on the 2400 Tucson. Obviously you're gonna have normal, nothing different about it. That's just a normal drive. Then you're gonna have sport. It's gonna to get to a higher RPM before it shifts to allow you for more on-demand acceleration if you're merging into traffic, different things like that. Then you do have smart, which is gonna kinda of tailor itself to your driving needs when you need power, what you want the vehicle to do and everything like that. Now your 2024 Tucson does have a few things on it that you may be interested once you get in. You do have your voice memo. What this allows you to do is save different recordings. So right now, if I click it, hit the record, just teaching people about the voice memo. Hit stop, then the next time you get in, go back, go back to voice memo, click it, and there you go. You can use that to give yourself alerts if you have an appointment the next day, if you need to get an oil change, different things like that. Now to delete old voice mem memos, hit the three lines right here, tap delete, select the one you want to remove, and there you go. Another thing the 2024 Hyundai Tucson comes with is valet mode. What that does, once your Blue Link is set up, it limits the functionality available to you. Um, now, instances where you'll need this is if you do give your vehicle to a valet, obviously you don't want them changing your stations, changing your seat safe settings. It just hinders the functionality that they have within your vehicle and doesn't allow them to make a bunch of changes. Next, we'll go to your quiet mode. When you turn on quiet mode, it's going to dim down the volume level. It's going to be a lot quieter and a lot smoother ride. It's only going to have sound up here in the front seats. It doesn't have sound available in the back seats. Now, one of the most interesting things about the 2024 Hyundai line of vehicles is going to be your Blue Link, which they've had for years, but now on 2024 models, you get it for the life of the vehicle. That is an application you install on your phone that your salesperson will help you set up the login with whenever you buy the vehicle. Through that app, you will be able to start, lock, unlock the vehicle. You can pay your payment if you paid with or finance with Hyundai Finance. You are able as well to set personal remote start preferences. So if it's really hot in the summer, you can have your AC going to whatever temperature you want with your cooled seats on and then vice versa in the winter. Additionally, it will let you know whenever you need service, if your vehicle has any issues, it will tell you what the code is and possibly what the issue is. And any communication Hyundai needs to get to you about will come through the app as well. Now with the Blue Link system on the 2024 Hyundais, you do as the first owner of a 2024 get it for the entirety of the 
time that you have the vehicle, it lasts for the life of it. Whereas before it was just the first three years. After that, the second owners do have the option to purchase it through a subscription service billed monthly. Next, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the instrument cluster and the steering wheel. One of the first things you'll notice when you get in is the steering wheel is leather wrapped. It's a real soft, but still maintains its grip. You do have your lights over here, as well as your windshield wipers here. The dials here do have a texture on them that feels nice on the hand. It feels a very premium. As you move to the steering wheel, you do have your paddle shifters, so you can up shift and down shift if you wanna have a more responsive drive. As you move to the steering wheel buttons itself, you have your voice recognition. Again, a tap will talk you to the Hyundai system, which will use Hyundai's maps and the Hyundai vehicle itself. Once you have your CarPlay connected or your phone Bluetooth, you hold that button down and then it'll go through Siri or the Android version that you have. You are able to answer calls with the call button and then you do have a favorite button which will take you directly to whatever feature you have it set up to along with your volume and then your button that allows you to scroll through different stations on your vehicle. On the other side of that, you do have your button to scroll through your different menu options, whether that's trip, the compass, tire pressure, different things like that. Turn on your cruise control with the cruise button. You can set the speed with the left switch and then cycle through different menu options in the cluster with another directional button. Here's where you turn on your lane centering system. So you have your lane centering again, which keeps you centered in the lane versus without that, you do have lane keeping, which is gonna read the lines on the road and make sure you stay within them. Then you do have your adaptive cruise button, which is where you toggle whether you want it to follow the car ahead of you from one, two, three, or four car lengths. You have plenty of spaces to store your belongings in the 2024 Hyundai Tucson, starting here where your charger outlets are. You can place your wallet, your keys, your phone, and then you do have a spot for your wireless charging as well. You move back here. Obviously, you're going to have your glove box. Then underneath right here, you have another storage outlet with a few different spots to store different things. And then obviously you have your glove box where your manual is going to be and everything else like that. All right, guys. So right here, what we do have attached to your rear view mirror is going to be your home link. What that will do is allow you to pair the vehicle with a gate, a garage door or anything like that at your home. You have your SOS button in the event you are in an accident or in a situation where you need help. Then you have the button to turn on your lights and then you do have your sunroof control. So if you hit that, the panel is going to go back for the first click. Give it a second. Now, the next time you click it, it will push the glass back. Then you do have the ab ability to just vent the roof. If you wanna do that, you simply push the button straight down and it will vent up for you. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Jonathan Rester with Mack Hike Hyundai in Victoria, Texas. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 361-576-1221 or visit HyundaiVictoria.com. Like and subscribe below.